Monday, 0724 2017, Tinfoil Hat Club, Scott Hensler, winding down July. Can't believe how this has blown through here. We're coming into August, and of course, August 21st, I may head over towards Oregon. I'm not sure because of the solar eclipse. It's going to be one of the, the better places. 14 states altogether across the, the United States are going to experience this, not seen since 1918. So, you know, just uh, just an incredible amount. But, you know, um, just more than uh, a point in time, possibly, you know, the largest event to be seen by everybody or the quantity ever. Um, that in itself says a lot. Now with that, the occult will make use of it in devious ways. So I will be covering more of it as we get closer to the uh, potential of this, this large human sacrifice. Because believe me, the devil's in the details, what's going on here, they will do it. So anyways, this will be... In our time, again, one of the, the most uh, viewed uh, events, at least in a pre-Adamic or after-Adamic race, in either case, like I said, it's just it's going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. All right. And so, you know, um, everything always seems to lead to CERN. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about that tonight, the Viral Society. And I've been wanting to do it for some time and finally had a, enough time to get things together. I'm going to not go into a great deal of depth. I want to point out, if you walk away with anything, the involvement of fallen angels, fallen angel technology. And as I go through this, I hope it makes sense. So thank you again for supporting me in the show. I did some deliverances over the weekend. I'll be starting up again tomorrow with callbacks, so if you haven't heard from me, I've got a lot of calls pending here, so I'm going to try and get back to many as possible. I do it in order, and if I don't get to you tomorrow, then I'll go over into Thursday, okay? And I'm going to be rescheduling the, the uh, baptism. I found a great location on the Spokane River, and I'll be setting a time and date for that. If you happen to be, you know, summertime's wonderful here. If you happen to be in the local area and you're interested in that or you're passing through, we'll see what we can do. As I mentioned before, that a full baptism in the name of Jesus is very important. And so if there's one last thing you feel you need to take care of, then I'd be willing to help you out with that. Idaho here is just incredible. Of course, it'll be over in Washington. Well, actually, it'll be... No, it's still on Idaho's side, but it's right there at the state line pretty much, Spokane River. Spokane River exits out of the Coeur d'Alene Lake. That's the beginning of it, and heads uh, towards the west. Now, <clears throat> tonight's show, Viral Society, in relation with Nazi Germany, the occult, witchcraft, psychics, necromancy, clairvoyance, Astral travel, fallen angel. Okay? You need to understand, understand that all of these together, in fact, is a demonic voice to skull, V2K type uh, technology. Now, when we have psychotronics, we have voice to skull through electronic means. When we have clairvoyance, when we have psychic, when we have necromancy, we have voice-to-skull technology through demonic means. So this is, a, in a sense, a type of telepathic-induced demonic uh, uh, projection. And so we know it as schizophrenia. Schizophrenia we know it as hearing voices. And I've said before, don't believe everything that you hear. So regardless of what you're dealing with, where you're at in this world, if you're hearing voices... It's going to be one of two things. It's going to be electronic means, or it's going to be demons. Okay, And many people have bought into thinking that they're hearing from the Holy Spirit, thinking they're hearing from um, gods or, or whatever, and you know the God complex. And so 
I, I want to bring this out that also with it will be used for the hive mentality. The power of suggestion. Okay? And also with this thinking that you're in one with the universe. Okay? And reality, all of that is absolute garbage. It's uh, part of the new age, part of the occult, Luciferianism, psychics, as I talked about, necromancy, clairvoyance. All of this has to do with demons. And tonight I want to connect all the dots so you understand that whether it's Tesla, you know, whether it's, you know, Tesla, I'm not going to give a hard time. I believe he had a sense um, of, of humanitarianism. He was unfortunately controlled through spiritualism. So I won't put him as a, quote, nice guy, but I'm not going to make him a bad guy either. But the, the, the ro all roads lead to Rome, and unfortunately, he played a major part in where we are today. So I guess the question is, how does God view him? Well, you know, I'm not here to judge, so I'm just going to leave that on the back burner. But the point of it is that with all the technology that was being brought up during World War II, all the way back through the turn of the century of the 1800s, with Tesla waves being scalar, the advancements of radio, advancements of weaponry, those things that led into, and I've talked, I've did the Montauk, you know, I, there's several, I think four shows I did on that, and Hollow Earth, and, and talking about the Philadelphia Experiment, all the way to Montauk, all the way to CERN, and the point of it is, this information, this technology, which there's nothing new under the sun, comes from fallen angels. All right, now, Whenever <clears throat> I pray for people, whenever I, I break Freemasonry curses or those people who are in the occult, the third eye is very crucial. Now, the pineal gland, we see in the Catholic Church, they have their staff, and on the top of the staff, it looks like a pine cone because pine cone has been known to have that resemblance. So what they're talking about is your cosmic, your you know psychic, your ability to connect with the spirit realm with the pineal gland connection. It's one of the reasons that they're polluting and making us toxic. So we don't have that connection. Now, as I go through this, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to lift up the third eye. I want you to understand that without your discernment, without your deliverances, this is the antennae that connects into the spirit, that connects to the demons. You're not just hearing from the Holy Spirit. You're hearing from um, kind of a wide band of things. And as I go through this, I want you to understand, I've been given a hard time for closing the third eye. Okay? Now, are you familiar with an Arcadia window? We had them in Arizona. They're, you know, they're probably Californians and you guys in Nevada. You know, one big, one big giant glass sliding window. And, of course, when the weather's nice, you don't want to just leave it open because you get flies, you can get mosquitoes, you know, and everything else. And so when your third eye is open, your Arcadia window is open without a screen door. And so you're getting all the insects. You're getting all the things that you don't want. Do you understand? And so when it comes to closing the third eye, it's very crucial that in by doing so, that those who are psychic, those who are clairvoyant, those who do necromancy or witchcraft or whatever the other, it stops. And you get a clarity, you can think, you can process, your cognitive ability is, is as God intended, and you can start getting words of knowledge, you can start hearing from God, you can start, and I'm not talking about audible voices, if you hear audible voices, I have the only time I've ever heard that is when I was bombarded by the V2K, the Voice to Skull technology, a little over a year ago. I have never heard voices. But what I get is a word of knowledge. And that word, word of knowledge is uh, then confirmed by a second or a third uh, generation of information, second or third party. And then I get what's called a witness, a confirmation in my spirit that what I 
what I got as a word of knowledge is confirmed to be of truth and for me to act upon it. So tonight, as, as I bring this out, that is, we're told to test the spirit that those in the occult do not do such thing. Anything goes. It's a crapshoot. And so please understand that when I close the third eye, what I'm doing is I'm at, a, at, a, at least putting the screen door up. So we're filtering out things, making sure that things do not contaminate you. All right? All right. So, anyways, that pineal gland, consider it like an antenna. Consider it your transducer, like sonar, like dolphins. If you look at the, the structure of a dolphin's brain and their upper cranial area, whatever you want to call it for a fish, for a mammal, I guess, that in it, they're able to give a, a audible, sub, ultra, a wide range of different frequencies just like elephants can, can feel vibration through their legs in the earth, they can actually communicate to each other this way. That in this is a whole communication or ability to navigate, to, to verify something in front of you, friend or foe, through means that, that we humans do not have. So this transducer, this, this ability to send an audio out and then come back like sonar, is used by them. Now other animals and, and uh, fish do as well. But in this, if, if, if you have all your doors open, otherwise you've been in the occult, you have Freemasonry, you have witchcraft, you, you yourself have dabbled with the Ouija board, you've done tarot cards, you've, you've done seances, you've gone to psychics, you've done all this stuff, your intake of the spirit realm data is literally going to infect your soul, your will, are open to demonic influences. Please, you need to understand that. This is why it is so important to renounce divination, because it's what it is. Whether you willfully seek it, or it is a generational curse, that until you get through deliverance and you get this stuff closed, you are vulnerable to receiving information that is not for your benefit, like Freemasonry. Okay, Freemasonry talks about the hoodwink. Is the term hoodwink mask or over your mind in bondage? Okay, you're being fooled, you're being lied, you bought, you know, you, you bit into the bait of Satan. So this in a, is setting the stage concerning Maria Orsic. Now, uh, this is the woman basically tied with the Viral Society getting information from the spirit realm. But as I go through this, in reality, she was led to believe that she was getting information from other galaxies and aliens and all this other stuff. The whole thing's hogwash. The whole thing's a lie. And unfortunately, she bit into it. Now, I know nothing of the woman. Um, she disappeared in 1945. But as I go through some of this, that anyone who partakes in such thing Anyone who does divination, sorcery, and witchcraft, as we saw in the Old Testament, as I talked about, was put to death. And the reason is, is because what you're doing is you're entertaining, you're allowing fallen angels, demons, and now we have other creatures coming in from CERN, to give you information that God never intended you to have. Because we are a fallen man. Remember that our hearts are wicked? Now, Christ took care of that on the cross of the curse of the garden, but we are to continue such things, we are to occupy, we are to expose evil until the return of Christ. Well, it just continues until he brings us out. So, anyways, this easily falls under the demonic abomination of spirit guide, psychic, necromancy, fallen angel fashion. So by, again, doing such things, you have aligned yourself with evil. So as I cover this topic, understand this is one relationship with demons and fallen angels. You, you literally have befriended them, and they are conversing with you. You are receiving, and as you see here, there is going to be an exchange 
where we as humans, then because of our sin, give them right into the physical, right to us, to other people, to use us in a greater detail, including the manufacturing of items. The, the putting down on paper the technology necessary to really pull the hoodwink over everyone else is really what it amounts to. Now, I myself, being of German nature, because we're talking when we're talking about um, uh, this, we're, we're talking about Germany, Austria. Okay, we're, we're talking about Nazism. We're talking about pre pre World War, but we're still making the connections with Hitler. And so, as I talk about the curses, as I talk about closing the third eye and, and those things of Freemasonry, I myself, being of German and Dutch had a lot of renouncing to do with Rosicrucian. Now, this established here in the United States with the connection in Pennsylvania, which is where I'm originally from, so as as one of Dutch and German, that in this, of the 13 original colonies, there's that 13 again, always coming back here, there, that the 13 original colonies, if you look at the flag, it was a reptile, it was a snake, and it was cut up into 13 pieces for each particular state, which then was a colony. Okay, So you can see that all of this is tied to the occult, to Freemasonry, then, which is under the direction of the Illuminati. The point is, the stronghold of the occult is, goes all the way back to the old countries. Everything I'm going to be talking about here is nothing new. It's very old, been around a long time. We talk about Transylvania. We talk about reptilian vampires, because that's really what it is, the black nobility, the king and queen of England, which, by the way, are not English. Okay, They are Transylvanian in their bloodline, and they've admitted that. And if you are a Transylvanian, you have the reptilian bloodline in you. You, you are of the seed of Satan. Now, now that you have, you know, the Nazi connection here, this is all Luciferian. Okay, so there's a corruption in man of doctrine, of traditions, with the Antichrist spirits deceiving and blocking out Christianity, bringing in Catholicism. Any of this is still a satanic worship, the, the worship of Lucifer. Okay? All right, so these are the founders of trauma-based mind control, infiltrating into the CIA, all the way to Montauk, all the way to Hollywood, okay? Establishing the Church of Satan with Anton LaVey writing the Satanic Bible. So I'm going to be connecting all this. This is all tied together. By the way, starting with Jane Mansfield, okay, uh, she was literally in relationship with... uh, uh, that that old scoundrel, okay, Anton, and you know we had uh, Sandy uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Remember the Rat Pack uh, after his conversion to Judaism. Now there was an oxymoron. Uh, David Vinson, okay, seven others. You know like Elvis uh, uh, Liberace, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Manson. All of these people. Marilyn Marilyn Monroe, by the way, was probably the first documented beta kitten under the Montauk, okay? Now, whether Marilyn Monroe was actually tied with Anton LaVey, the people that she associated were, okay? And we have, we have uh, uh, the, the monarch MK Ultra coming over from the, the Nazis after World War II under Project Paperclip being infiltrated and implemented all over the country. This is where a lot of the occult, satanic rituals get their knowledge to do such horrible things. And as I said, Marilyn Monroe herself most likely was probably the first beta kitten under monarch. Meaning that as a female, with her sexuality, uh, being brought into trauma-based mind control, being made as an instrument to lure, seduce, to to do things, to gather information, you know, you know, we you got to remember with um, being able to to go into other countries, entertain troops, getting a carte blanche ability to go through security without going through security. So the ability, just like Bob Hope was used, okay, he was MI5. 
you need to understand this, okay? That these people that go all the way back, anyone that was brought into the, the front line of fame, including today, is all linked somehow to all of this. So, all of what we have today started years ago. Okay, again, connecting with Nazism, the Viral Society, V-R-I-L, okay, being a part of the Cosmic Connection, or in other words, basically bumping elbows with the direct line of the fallen angels. Now, Maria Orsic, known as the medium, became, became the leader of the uh, Viral Society, okay, which was already established and had to do with, with quite a few other people, I'm not going to go into all their names and all the connections. Again, I want to establish to you the understanding of what was really going on here. So the Viral Society from Austria, coming from Austria, also connecting with Hitler, because Hitler came from Austria himself, and also being part of the Illuminati, Illuminati bloodline. I think he was a nephew of the Rothschilds. So this very occultic area, uh, heavily influenced now, so it, we go back to the old country, we, we go back to the old ways, we go back to all of this, and we see that the occult has been very heavy in our history. And of course, those who came over to the United States or America, you know, whether they were on the Ninta, the Pinta, the Santorina, or the Mayflower, any of these things, the point of it is they were establishing a new world. They were establishing a command, a control center for the rest of the world. Now, we are in a power struggle. This is where uh, Trump is, is part of the Trump card, so to speak, uh, trying to then take away from the Jesuits, trying to establish again for uh, the Freemasons here in this country to bring things back. Now, again, the ultimate you know, goal is world dominance, world control. So it doesn't matter what side they're on, they're, we're still going to be put in bondage. Those things that have been in place a very long time will still take place. So with, um, you know, the, the connection with Germany, that, uh, that, that her, herself, okay, when we're talking about Mary, that there was the, obvious establishment of the national German movement that came out of Austria to influence, to connect Austria and German together, okay? Her ties with this German national movement, this helped connect Austria and Germany to establish the Third Reich about 1919. See, this had been going on for some time. We think, the way history tells us and the way they show it in the books, that all this, you know, started out maybe in the late 30s or so. Uh, no, it's actually been going on a long time. And so she became friends with other young ladies who were also psychic. And this is how this all began, because they were all getting information. They were all hearing from fallen angels, which they called a, a, a cosmic connection. And they were all known for their beautiful long hair, okay, which they believed was their antennae, like the pineal gland, known as horse trails okay, or horse tails, uncommon for the time. This continued till 1945, which was, of course, the end of the war, World War II. They claimed their hair draped in a horse tail fashion over the left shoulder, mostly, gave them special psychic abilities. They call cosmic antenna. Now, you need to understand that we as humans, that even though we had abilities that came, that were established into us with the garden, that of the fall of the garden, just like the fallen angels, that their angelic abilities were taken from them. Now, they still have the ability to do a lot of things, but they certainly are not in the realm of what they were before. And we as humans lost that connection, lost that relationship with God. And this is what Jesus was all about, to bring us back into that relation. So, they said they believe that in their connection, that they were getting... Um, not just angelic information, but they were actually receiving information from aliens and from beyond. Okay, they could communicate. They could receive uh, some of some of it actually cryptic. Okay, and I don't want to get into that. 
So in public, they seldom wore their hair as they did because it wasn't exactly in fashion. They weren't exactly trying to bring you know, attention to themselves because in the occult, it is what those things hidden. So in 1919, she and others said they received a, a basically a, a type of magically, mystically uh, transmission that in it, in itself, gave secret German Templar script secret German Templar script. Okay, let's back up here. Okay, this was in uh, languages unknown, but note Templar. Okay, now I've said before that Trump is part of the Knights Templar. Templar, German Temple Society. German, okay, the, these were Protestant sect, but all rooted in Lutheran, calling themselves Templars. And the basic issue was that of this, they were disbanded uh, in 1858 because of their millennial belief of the pop apocalyptic events to come. So otherwise, they weren't really in harmony with the church. Uh, and, and believe me, there's a lot of uh, Jesuit influence. Okay. And what that means is that with the teachings, with the, the demonic influence, that in it, that they go down another road, another path, and that they're led in, and they believe what they're taught to be true, but it actually comes from the demonic. And so in that disbandment of in itself, that they then evolved into the Knights Templar. Okay? So now, this information, the Templar script, okay, uh, was the plans for a flying machine. What? That's right. You know, the Nazis were very uh, successful in UFO craft. Now, we know this in New Schwabenland. We know that there are craft down there with bases and everything. This actually was the original basis of them obtaining the information. So, this flying machine, the technical data of construction... That, uh, that the Viral Society, these women, were gathering and getting for this to, to be uh, a possibility. Okay? These telepathic images and messages, they say, came from a solar system 68 light years away. Okay? So remember, a light year is uh, the speed of light. And by the way, um, I've brought up that scalar is 291,000 miles versus the 186,000 miles. So I'm not sure what we're, what we're trying to say here when we're saying 68 light years because, you know, the speed of light, 186, it travels within one year the distance. 68 light years, that's a long ways away. Okay, called Al Deb Aram, okay, and this constellation of Taurus. This is where they say that they got all of this information because they have their hair draped over their shoulder, you know, uh, kind of sexy, you know, for a witch, right? And so there you go. Okay, well, you know, it's all hogwash. It's all, you know, lies. And these people bought it. Okay, so those who partake in such things, God confounds these people, all right? So the script of translation was probably ancient Babylon, Sumerian, okay? And then there the, the deciphering of that. In either case, this was fallen angel technology setting the stage for UFOs. So now you know how the Nazis got a hold of all of this, okay? So all of this was considered an alternative science at the time since it defied, you know, the original areas of science, However, three years later of the first conception, uh, then going into 1922, the flying machine project uh, started. Okay, so once the, the funds were in place, once the establishment of location, then by 1922, so parts from all over Germany, Austria, and other locations were brought in to start assembling this craft. Okay which, in my opinion, was the first compartmentalizing of different departments that one department didn't exactly know what the whole big picture was. They just had one fragment that they were working on, okay? So that goes to show that even back then, that had been established, all right? 
now where Maria connected the downloads, more information over time. So otherwise, she didn't have everything at once. More download, more cosmic uh, antenna connection, more data, more you know, more uh, script. So in this, uh, people would say that when this happened to her, that her eyeballs would literally go back and forth and even roll up to where the only thing you saw were the whites of her eyes, which some people said that they found very disturbing. Now, I want you to understand that one of the reasons when I, if I get a full manifestation when I'm doing deliverance, I want people's eyes closed because I find that a little disturbing myself. Not in fear, but I don't want to see it. I don't want to see what the demons do to you because one, that's got to hurt. You don't feel the pain, but in reality, we weren't meant to do that. But it also just shows the nastiness of demons. And so, with her being taken over, being one of, of a connection, being one of a medium, making that astral plane connection, going in it to make connection to a, quote, spirit guide, or whatever you want to call it, that in this, uh, you know, as this took place, a voice... Uh, came out, uh, re, you know, identifying itself as Eckert, okay, the spirit guide, medium, uh, was the one communicating with her. But this rascal made a uh, particular announcement at the time that he was obligated to let another voice speak. Okay? Now, it's interesting that there was an exchange of time, so obviously they were working together, because when I do a deliverance, it's every man for themselves, so to speak. All the demons, well, one, they're freaking out. They're throwing each other the bus. They're kicking the chair out from each other. They're ratting each other out. They don't want to go. So, they're, you know, it's, it's all hell breaks loose sometimes in the spirit realm with them. So, at this particular time, Eckert announced he was obligated to let another speak. So, as that took place, with an inherent message, a, a very important message, important message was a strange voice then was identified coming out as Sumai. Okay, the dweller of the distant world. Oof, boy, there's that. Boy, you know, these guys really play it and ham it up. See, it just tells you that it's just all demonic poo, right? So, which basically orbits Al Duran, all right? So, in this is that the galaxy that where all this information is supposed to come from, 68, 69, almost, remember, just short of 69. wonder why they didn't go there with that. But in either case, again, they this particular Sumai told that they were actually a humanoid race who colonized Earth 500 million years ago. Now, there's another bunch of demonic poo, okay? Now, is, there, is the Earth very old? Yes. Is there pre-Adamic pre races? Yes. But we also know that those who, you know, bite into this have bought it hook, line, and sinker that they, you know, like the New Agers, they literally believe that this stuff is exactly in order the way it is. It's not. It's just, just a bunch of demons and fallen angels messing with their head. So, in this, they say they are the ones who actually survived the Great Flood, that they are ancestors of this. That they are actually the pre-Aryan race. Ah. Oh, I get it now. So this is where all that started. Hmm. So with this information, by 1943, okay, they re then referred to, you know, the, Ab you know, the Aberrean Project uh, had been completely established and started. So it actually was named after the particular area that uh, the supposedly uh, that they had gotten this information. And in cooperation with Hitler, by 1944, it was in full swing. Now, of course, it didn't last much longer after that, 1945. Uh, but, in, but in Munich, Germany, the first flight of the Vural craft, because that's what it was referred to, we now know as the flying saucer or the UFO, was successful. Now, they had many crashes. They had many this and that. You know, you can just imagine. And then again, you know, World War II ended. We have what we know as Project Paperclip came in and confiscated all that information, got a hold of all the scientists that were the ones putting this all together, and then removed them from any condemnation from, you know, the, the then-established United Nations, which was being put in place by the Rothschilds. 
that in itself that all this technology put into the hands of the U.S. and the Brits. So the, the OSS turning into the CIA, MI5 that I'm implementing with them, MI6, that with the, this information now brought up, all the black projects uh, began. And so, you know, we have Area 51, we have Dulce, we have things over, you know, and, and uh, the East Coast. Uh, California is lined up with it. They're just everywhere we've got this technology has come in. So Maria Orsic, unfortunately, disappeared in 1945. Funny how that thing happened. But they are speculating that her and the others, because of the ability now to... Because you got to remember these craft and their technology, that whether they gravitate, levitate, whatever they do, that in them, that their, their engines or their ability to, to, uh, to move, that they're influencing the dimensions. And so there is the ability to transport. So transporters based on this same thing. So escaping via the craft to al deb Iran. okay? So you just never know. You just never know. So I'm just letting you know that, so again, another link of confirmation, what we have today is fallen angel technology leading to CERN and opening the dimensions to bring in more of these demonic spirits, fallen angels, or of these other creatures which I believe have not been here before or were kicked out long ago or are now coming back into our physical location. Okay, into our physical location. So with that, I hope you sleep well tonight. Okay, I'm going to be doing We Proclaim tomorrow. And if you need prayer uh, with this information, knowing now exactly the one, two, three punch that brought us to where we're at, that, uh, again, you know, I was talking to somebody today that connecting the dots, and it is overwhelming. I can remember in 2009 when I finally got it through my noggin, you know, I'd already established myself in deliverance, but wasn't so much into the conspiracies. When I realized just how far down the rabbit hole we had really gone, how the United States had been taken over, uh, it was very extremely depressing. Come to the coming to the realization that you know my father fought in the uh, Pacific during World War II, that everything that he did, though he was a patriot and did his duty that in it was nothing more of the establishment to gain control and power to take over the world. That's really what was going on here. Now, was it orchestrated with Hitler? Was it orchestrated with Japan? Was it orchestrated with the Brits and the Soviets? Absolutely. Because the whole Cold War thing was a scam. Now, they because the Soviets and the United States were actually working together in New Schwabeland down in Antarctica. Because once they, the virile craft that they you know, discovered and was able to uh, work with, that when they came down into the bases with Admiral Byrd, uh, they established that, that uh, connection with the Nazi bases. Okay, So nothing has really changed. So we had Project High Jump, we had Project Deep Freeze, we had Project Dome. We had all of these things that are all tied to this, this uh, issue. And nothing, again, has changed. Now, there may be some reestablishment of power. We know that the United Nations, in its strength, because of us, unfortunately, that their establishment, that if you want to go down to Antarctica, you can't look around. They don't want you to see what's really going on. Now, I'm a flat earther, and if that offends you or that bothers you or you think I'm stupid... I want you to understand that when anyone told me that they were flat earthers, that's what I thought. I thought, man, boy, you know, you had too much sake there. You, you smoked one too many joints. You did one too many hits of acid. But in reality, when you really lay the facts out and start understanding the sciences, remember, I've done the shows before. If you haven't gone back to the Montauk, if you've gone back to the flat earth, if you haven't gone to the scalar technology shows that I've done, I systematically, one, two, three, A, B, C, lay it out. And when we understand that the, the uh, uh, physics that we have in place, when we talk about E equals MC squared, when we talk about 
uh, Einstein and the theory of relativity and all of that other junk, that he was brought in as a Jew, he was brought in as a Mason, to alter and change and hide the fact of scalar technology. And, I, and I've mentioned this before, that, uh, again, Tesla made the statement that he really thought that uh, Einstein was nothing more than an nincompoop. And, you know, so when we find out that there is something faster than the speed of light, because remember, we're told, oh, there's nothing faster than speed. No. turns out scalar is 291,000 miles an hour uh, compared to 186 or 300,000 meters. And so that means everything we've been told in physics, everything we've been told in science, is a lie. Everything based. And with that, then it hides the true ability to enter into the dimensions, to, 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 to breach the veil, to open up star portals and stargates and, and to astral and to teleport and to go in, you know, to other planets, to go to the moon, to go to Saturn. And, I've, and as I've interviewed people before, you know, especially, you know, like Holly and the super soldier issue and then those things of Montauk, the Montauk chair, look, they've been doing this a really long time. Okay? And as I've just connected the dots here, going back to the Viral Society, okay, that, that this all, again, is fallen angel technology. So please understand that we only see a small fragment of the potentials and what is going on that when you, let's say, um, read an article, when you get a news uh, bit of news information, let's say it comes from CNN or even Fox or any of the others, this whole thing's disinformation. When you pick up the history books, when you pick up the science books, when you pick up anything that's trying to relate to us, the theory of the world, the, you know, the, whether that's astronomy, any of this stuff has been tampered with to such a degree that we have a hard time comprehending or understanding when we hear anything that is, that is in opposition of it, such as flat earth. Our cognitive dissonance keeps us from comprehending it. We've been brainwashed. Our ceiling is so low that when we get on the trampoline, we hit our head. And as I mentioned, it took a while for me to come out. I didn't just jump into it. But I had to look at uh, gravity versus uh, buoyancy. I had to look at the diff different atmospheric layers, okay, uh, the temperatures, uh, the, the pressures, the gases, um, the 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 uh, rotation, um, which, which was really a circulation of the moon, of the Earth, and the North Star. Why is the North Star always over one location? If we're spinning a thousand miles, you know, in rotation, and we're tilted on an axis that, by the way, the opposite number is 66, and we're hurtling through space at 66,000 miles. How in the world can the moon and the sun and the North Star always be in a predetermined factor without one degree alteration of one or the other? So there's all of this stuff that when we pile it up, you know, well, you know, maybe he's right. Maybe there's, there's a little more to this story. Whether I've got it all right or not, I don't know. But you know what? Something's rot rotten in Denmark. Something has been put out there to keep us from understanding that, that, you know, with everything, all roads leading to Rome, all things going to Babylon, all things going back to the book of Enoch. And with, again, how many books do we have for the Bible? 66? There's that 66 again. It's either 33 or 66, okay? And we look at CNN being Gematria uh, 33. We look at Fox being in Gematria 33. We see all of this stuff... Then in the occult, those things hidden, that whether it's esoteric, exoteric, that the meanings behind it are to keep you, to keep your head spinning. And with it is a brainwashing that when you do get the facts, it flies right over your head. Now, I talked about the other day that it, when you meet somebody who has a personality disorder or is a counterfeit sent to you by the evil ones, 
They're not there for your benefit. They're there for you to fall in love with them and then act like an idiot later and get, get yourself hammered and your money stolen from you and your heart broke. That in the first few sentences, they tell you who they are. But you're so smitten by them, or there's a spirit of seduction, or one of, of a hoodwink, okay? You know, it goes right over your head. It happens with me. Look, I'm, I'm the poster child of that. Let me tell you, that's how I got in this mystery, this ministry. So please, again, things are not always they, as they appear. And with this, when you understand that people who dabble in the occult, when you have people who, who have seeked and searched and tried to find other answers other than God, the God of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that in it is when you fall into the snare, or what's in Greek it's called the begis, that in your entrapment you are then in bondage. And so those who practice such things as divination were put to death. Now we have today the, the blood of Jesus Christ. We have redemption. We have grace. We have the ability that when we repent, when we renounce, when we ask for forgiveness, that in it we are forgiven. Now, in, in, in the teachings of the Baptist Church, which are extracted out from the Freemasons, that's who evolved it out, then if they teach you all that's done. You don't have to repent. It's all been done on the cross. No, there is nothing in Scripture that tells you that. We're told we're going through an oven. We're told we're going through some times. We're told to cast out demons. We're told to bind up the brokenhearted. We're told to have the lame walk, have the blind see. Okay? And those who don't receive it, well, we're to shake the dust off our feet, off our sandals, and move on. Okay? All right. Oh, what do we got here? A little bit of time. Any questions out there? Let me bring up the chat room. Huh. <sighs> Let's see. You know, I um, when I uh, do a deliverance, once in a while, not always, I get a full manifestation. And when I say a full manifestation, I'm talking about shape-shifting. I'm talking about morphing. Now, it's not all the time. Okay? There's a lot has changed in, in my ministry over the years. I've mentioned that I, you know, because there's so many people, that I used to systematically sit down for people for a very long time and interrogate and find out this and find out that. And it was in that interrogation where the manifestations of the demons would, would uh, present themselves in the very nature of whatever it is. And I, I, I had told before that I had this one gal come in, and she was absolutely uh, charming. She was very attractive. You know, she, in, the, in the average of society, she would have been found beautiful. But boy, she was nasty. Boy, she was mean. She had some anger in her over her husband that was just toxic. And the, I was in training. This was how long ago this particular one was. And I was with a gal that... Um, was very familiar with, with uh, multiple personalities because she herself had many altars healed. And so as we started praying, lo and behold, this attractive woman turned into one of the most hideous things you'd ever seen. The earlobes went pointy, the canines came out, the nose went down like a hooked nose, the chin went long, the eyes curved in, you know, kind of like a representation of evil or demon. And it, and it shook, you know, kind of like if you were shivering so bad you couldn't have control. And then all of a sudden it goes down, and then this little girl comes up. This little frightened little girl. And, and, and I don't want to get into the details of what, what, what that was all about. But the point of it is, as soon as we healed or reincorporated this fractured altar, this wounded, this, this wounded little girl, that particular demon, which was witchcraft, by the way, had nothing to hide behind. And guess what? As soon as we, you know, got this little girl healed and reincorporated her back into the soul, into the core person, well, this demon couldn't hide behind the little girl anymore. Because that's what was going on. 
and this was an ordained thing too, by the way. This was, this was God's order. God wanted this girl healed of this. So we go after this thing, and I don't remember all the details. It was too, many, too, too long ago. But um, got it, you know, broke off, got whatever the entry was, and the curse broke, and got it to renounce and, and uh, cast it out with its curses. And th- this was such a strong manifestation that the, the woman came, and, and, and thank goodness their eyes were closed, because I wouldn't like to have seen this woman's eyes rolled back. And, and, and if you've ever seen that, like head injuries... You know, some of you that may be first responders or if you played, you know, hard sports like football and someone gets a head injury, boy, that their head, their eyes roll right back up. But in any, way, in any case, this, this woman comes out of it and there was such a peace over her, and I've said this before, that she said, it's not my husband because she hated him. She thought he was a complete jerk. Okay, so she had some man haters in there. And she said, it's not my husband, it was me. I feel so bad I must go home to my husband because I love my husband. And that woman got up and she ran out that door home to her husband. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how many marriages, how many marriages could we save through deliverance? How many people to avoid the pain and the suffering of divorce? Or that you know who you are, that you've been cleansed and your hurts and your wounds have been healed to the point that you don't make bad choices anymore. Many of us get back into relationships because it's familiar. Daddy was a scoundrel, so you marry a scoundrel. Okay? You know, mom was a a raving you-know-what, so you you marry a raving you-know-what. It happens all the time. And so if you get people healed, you get them, you know, set straight, then this stuff doesn't happen. And by the way, when it comes to selecting people, let's say like uh, the Viral Society and, and, and then the abduction of children for Montauk, the Montauk boys, which also included girls, that what they were looking for is those that had psychic ability. So, so what took place there? Well, their third eyes were open. And to whatever level was the degree of their so-called psychic abilities or power. So it goes to show that at we as humans, that of the fallen nature, that when we were in the garden, we had some in- amazing abilities. And But in this fallen world, with the de- demons out there, this ploy, this tactic, those things that wish to uh, use us. Because, okay, l- let's back up again to building the craft. So as I mentioned, that in the exchange of information, that then the evil ones, whether they were fallen angels or demons or whatever was going on there, that information was exchanged, and this then allowed uh, the humans to be the workers to take metals, to take plastics, to take you know electrical wires, and and then do machining and assembly and all this other stuff and chemicals, to make devices for the fallen angels. That since they didn't, since they no longer have their angelic abilities, then to use these means. But in the cooperation of those who did such things, is a sin. It's divination. And so with that gives the ability of the demons, of the fallen angels, to have legal right to the areas, to to use the people as they wish to carry out the very natures of evil. And so when we see UFOs, when we see crafts, they're based in the original of evil. Now, you can have greys, you can have those that are then hybrids of reptilians, you can have even military personnel on craft or a combination of the two. Or you can even have a, a potential uh, other like uh, race that is you know, not of human race, but those that are, again, from the fallen nature of original. Because you got to remember that as, as we learn about uh, the book of Genesis, and it says in the beginning, but in re. In reality, Hebrew is in a beginning. So how many 
you know, other worlds or other times or pre damic I have no idea. The estimated maybe is this is our seventh go-around, and this is the last go-around. But in either case, understand that the deception and the lies that have been perpetrated onto us as humans, and by the way, the, the uh, fallen angels, the sons of God coming into the daughters of men, along with the labs, along with the DNA transfer, with hybrids, you know, like they were trying to do with Holly and changing her DNA for super soldier, that in that also comes high intelligence. And in the high intelligence, then is the ability to master science, to master um, physics, to master, you know, all of the stuff that humans in themselves couldn't do because the human now has a, quote, higher intelligence, but also with an open door to angelic uh, information. Okay? So with that all tied together, please understand that none of this has stopped. The fact of nanotechnology, okay, well, I've done shows on that, the ability to alter, to control, to, uh, to change the, the element, the periodic table, you have all the elements of copper and gold and uh, the benzene ring, you know, uh, all the stuff based for plastics and acetones and gasoline and, and uh, you know, coming from crude oil, that when you change the, the molecule itself with the, with the atomic structure, because you have an atom, you have the, the nucleus, you have the electrons that circulate, okay, and if you keep them from orbiting, if you squeeze, you know, you, have you ever taken a balloon you know, and, and you squeeze it down, okay, it may want to pop out somewhere, but you understand what I'm saying, that in it, then you then with enzymes, with proteins, and the manipulation, you have nanotechnology. So yes, clones are real. And when you have people that are altered in this manner, they have a strength, they have a, an ability they have psychic abilities that is far beyond us humans. And so this is a very serious circumstance. And so as we come into the end times, those, as we talked about the other day, that, you know, reptilians among us and hybrids, that uh, their, their psychic ability, their ability to, to communicate to each other, but to also read, also to read your mind, to be what? One step ahead of you. They know what you're thinking. They know what you're doing. They know what you're going to do. And so as, a, as a, um, an opponent, one who is there to, to steal, kill, and destroy, they are a problem. And so what's the solution? The only thing we can do is to fall back into the arms of a loving God. To, to depend on the blood of Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? So with the intervention, circumvention of the Holy Spirit, with the blood of Christ, is our only way out of this. So regardless of what's done, been done, God has the final say. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And don't you ever forget it. God bless. <laughs>